Hello everyone, it is Taco here with a rare video. I know, don't get too excited, but yeah. Here, I know I made a video a couple years ago about how to make text mods in Star Wars Battlefront 2 using the Frosty Aether. Well, that video has helped out some decent amount of people, almost has a thousand views. The video itself sucks. So we're doing an updated version of 2024. So yeah, let's get right into this here. First, obviously, you'll need the Frosty Aether, which I will include the link for this in the description below. I did just Google Frosty uh, Tool Suite, and it'll take you. The first link should be this link, but I'll just put it in the description just in case. This is the obviously the old Frosty Tool Suite website isn't working anymore. I don't think so. This is what we're stuck with. Shout out to Cade Eva EVS. This guy he's done lots of stuff for the modern community. You'll go down here to Assets. This is where you'll download the Frosty Aether. You also download the Mod Manager from here. It's all in one link. But this is for the the newest version here. September 29, 2023. 1.063. So you'll download this. Also, you'll need to have a something like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Extract this. So once the download's done, you go over here. You'll download this. Ignore by downloads. So you just go to extract all and you'll just choose what you extracted to. I have it already extracted to its own folder Frosty Aether. This is what I would do. Just make a folder either by itself or in like a Battle for 2 folder for everything else. So you do that. I already have it done, so I don't need to do that. So we don't need to worry about that. So obviously once you go there, you open it up and do not mind my desktop here. I go to Frosty Aether. Right here the application obviously you don't want to click any other stuff it's not really important i do believe all the plugins come with it already that you need so the one you'll want is the localized string plugin so for some reason that's not there i'm not really sure what to do to be honest but it should be there so you want to run this as administrator because if you don't when you at the end whenever you test to see if the mod actually works it won't work and it won't load so you'll want to do that let's open that up if you don't when you first download this, it'll make you scan for a game, so you can select a game. So wherever you have the game installed at, we can just scan it, usually it works. So, click this. Although the catalogs, the first time you load up, it might take a, it'll take a little, little longer, I think. So, give it about like 5-ish minutes, I'm not too sure. So we'll do that. And boom, we have the uh, Frosty Editor here. It has a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can mod the whole game, anything in the game with this. So what you want to go do up here is view actually oh if it works thank you view localized string editor is what you'll want for text specifically so I open this up and this has all the text in the game all descriptions for starter cards heroes at least subtitles are also included in this yeah subtitles so obviously i'm assuming based off you're here you want to make a mod for a specific hero or character in the game in general so as an example of this we could do Darth. I don't know. Let's do, let's do a uh, Darth Maul. So type in right here in this little search bar, and then this, as you see, this has all the uh, Darth Maul text here. Every single piece of text that includes Darth Maul in the name will be right here. So you can go ahead and do that. You don't have to do this, but it's better just you know to keep track of what you're looking for here. So now, if you want, just for some reason, if you want to, be, to change a specific line specifically. You could just unpick pick this line right here, Darth Maul, or oops, this one. Crafts this double bladed, I don't know, lightsaber to um, avocado, oops, space, avocado. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. So boom, as you can see, crafts this double blade avocado to exact vengeance upon the Jedi. But if you want to change all the text, you'll go to replace multiple strings here. Have case sensitivity on smart case replacement. That's why I've always done, it works. So, here you go. So, obviously, first off, you want to change the character. What I usually do first is I type in the character with the apostrophe S. No, for like possession, like Darth Maul's lightsaber, Darth Maul's abilities, as you see right there. My cursor is. So, you'll do that. Current value is what you want to replace. And whatever you want to replace it with is new value. So, I don't know. If you want to do Freddy Fazbear's. There we go. So, as you can see down the bottom, Place 13 instances of Darth Maul's with Freddy Fazbear's. 
so that's how you know if it worked and then we'll do it again one more time this time we'll just do regular Darth Maul then ready right Fazbear same thing as last time current value is what you want to replace and new value is what you're replacing it with this will replace all the Darth Maul text lines in the game as you can see it fit the instances of Darth Maul with Freddy Fazbear so now in this smart case so lowercase will be changed as well not just the capital so now as you can see all the Darth Maul lines are gone because I replaced all of them so now we type in Freddy Fazbear there you are we have all the lines like it's Freddy Fazbear Freddy Fazbear victory pose you can do some pretty wacky stuff with us I just use it forever because not all mods have text and some of them have text that don't work anymore with the new frosty editor the new frosty so I always change it up myself so once you're done with whatever you want to do you'll hit press launch game this will just launch the game you'll be able to see if your mod's working or not so once the game loads up we'll be able to see if it's working this will take a few this will take about a minute or two so just wait a second for this I'll show you when we get to the game so we are in Battlefront 2 now we're officially in the game I'm not connected and we're that it's whatever so you go to the collection obviously you'll check so now it just show Freddy Fazbear in the text so Freddy Fazbear uses his expert lightsaber skills and arrest force powers to quickly assault and overrun an enemy at any time yeah so as you can see Darth Maul now it has the text as Freddy Fazbear so once you do that just go right back to Frosty Editor in a second here all right so there you got that done so now you just go back into Frosty Editor here the file if you want to come back to me later for sure whatever reason you also save it save it so you'll save that and then just do whatever freddy the fazbear boom have that saved then you want to export it to mod so go to section so whatever you want to name the mod freddy fazbear text you as you see only have to fill up the first section so You'll probably need to put in your author, so I'll just put taco, like a type. Thank you. Oh, calm down, buddy. One a category, X edits. Where when I go to the, the mod manager, have a done little section. So, and just hit save. And wherever you want to save the mods to, I have a, like a whole separate mod folder in my Battlefront 2 folder. So, I'll just put it there for the faz bear text. So, I'll do that. You go back over here to Balfour where we have your Frosty Mod Manager saved. Well, run this as administrator. Always run as administrator because if you do, it doesn't work. I don't know why, it's just what happens. So, you get to the Mod Manager and you'll just apply the mod like you do any other mod. So, once this loads up, you'll just go to Add Mod and you go to where the mod is at. And you just double click it or select it wherever you want. There it should pop up. So once this loads, give it a second. I have lots of mods, so I might be why it's taking a little longer. So we just go mods, pretty fast for text. And it should be there now. There we go, yeah, pretty fast for text. Boom, ignore this stuff. I'm just testing this out. The mod should show up. And once you launch the game, the mod should work just fine. If it doesn't, you messed up. So we're going to go ahead and launch the game here. So give me a second. I'll do this. Ignore that. So we'll go ahead and wait till it gets into the game. Officially. Again, this will also take a second. Make this talk a new mod. Obviously, this won't take super long because it's only two mods. But it's fine. There we go. So we'll wait for it to load up. That's where we're officially back in Battlefront 2. Load up the game officially. And there we go. The mod works just fine. So if it doesn't work, you can always just do it again. It should work. I've never really had any issues with it not working. See, obviously, if you if you test in the mod in the editor and it works, it should work in the game just fine. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoy, if you learned something from this, that's gonna be it for this one. I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.